So the most important for me during the captivity by Rambomjon on the chains in jungle was to stay human. Because uh, it was obvious that for some reason they inside the jungle, inside Bomjon's secret ashram areas, they became demons all. Is it that they get some drugs or is it some magic or is it that they are really sadistic criminals? I don't know, but they were hellish beings. I don't know, how can they sleep? Anyway, they are not humans probably. I don't know how to say it. So anyway, I knew I must keep my humanity and must stay uh, human. So I'm not giving up. I decided, uh, in the, there was one moment during the three months when I thought I was bowing to Bomjun in, in, on the chains and I thought uh, maybe this is about giving up my own will. Stole all my bags and all my things, my computer. They don't allow me to even use uh, my hygienic things to change my clothes three months. And I was just bleeding and I had nowhere, I had a show like this, I had difficulty to tear that because I had broken hands. It was terrible. So, just to stay human, I was thinking concentration camp is probably, is something like, people realize they experience something like this in concentration camp. And so, um, I was uh, practicing my mind, of course, 90% of the times I was praying. And then there was a thing, uh, I am from a musician family, so from my uh, babyhood I loved music and when I was stressed I was always singing or playing piano. And so I thought, I'm going to make music. Once uh, two, three days, Darshan and Dorje brought me some food. There is a big secret about this food stuff. I'm not going into details because I promise not to, not to reveal it. But when they brought this food, they did bring it uh, on metal plates and metal cups. They put sometimes this tea, this much tea. And I hide the cups in the clothes. There was an old slip, my sleeping, they put my sleeping bag actually, yes. And there was an old uh, kind of cover which they gave me, I told you it in another video, a dirty smelling, uh, destroyed uh, cover. And so I had some textiles and I, I hide the, uh, there was this double spoon which looks like a fork and it's a spoon, it's a special Nepali type of spoon. I also hid it. First, I was thinking I hide this uh, in case I could use them to to cut the, the chain because they told me I will be there all my life and so I remember there is this uh, book I even read that the book Butterfly very famous book very thick it's about Alcatraz uh, how the person who was innocently locked up in the jail of Alcatraz he escaped I know that it captured me, that story. I was reading it as a child so much and I was just overwhelmed by, by the power of human being, how slowly, slowly, slowly one can plan uh, one's escape. But I, I really has realized on Bom John's chain, I didn't know he will keep me three months. I realized that I have all my rest of my life here to stay, so 
I can do like something like that guy in, I mean, in the butterfly uh, book. Slowly, slowly, with uh, this metal spoon, I will uh, do this with the chains. The chains were massive. They were uh, like my small finger. They were massive elephant chains. They use it for trucks, elephants, huge things. This is just Badur Vaibas uh, chain. He bought it to chain me. And so I thought I will I will do it with the metal slowly, maybe in five years, ten years. I was asking uh, Darshan uh, how long I will be there. So he was lying me, of course. He was telling me different versions. One year, fifteen year, again, all life. Again, he told, in five months we'll leave you let you home so after a time I didn't ask because I realized they are just using my uh, fear trauma to, to to terrorize me I didn't believe him anything anymore he came and beated me and then the person who is torturing you and raping you how can you believe him but I had no other person it's the Stockholm syndrome I tried to find some humanity in him and in Dorje, but there was none. But anyway, uh, I was hiding these uh, spoons and spoon fork and uh, cups. So I made a nice collection of about six metal cups and one or two spoon, spoon forks, this double. And I did, yes, I did, uh, I don't know the English name when you do this metal on metal and I tried to do it uh, because I was watched by a monk, an old monk and uh, he was a little farther, I would say like 20 meter, 10-20 meter from me but in a jungle there is not so much noise uh, he, people could hear it, I could hear many things how they were cooking, how they were washing dishes <coughs> in the settlement even there's conversations I heard a lot they were even singing and dancing while I was tortured inside the jungle so after a time I was just nervous I was getting kind of nervous will I die will I be saved so during the nights I started to make like uh, Kind of, because during the nights the llama was not there, during the nights I was doing this, um, cutting the chain, and during the nights I, so I started to sing. So I created like um, six cups, and uh, I had some, <laughs> these sticks from the tree and little branches, and I was, <coughs> I was uh, hitting these cups and they made a beautiful like uh, xylophone, like a beautiful harmony. At least in my, uh, that time when you don't eat, don't drink, uh, you are tortured, you are traumatized, you are bleeding, you are getting into some kind of half sleepy, half dreamy state of mind, apathic, I don't know how to say and your perception is maybe different and you don't speak with any people that time those that music seemed to me beautiful so during the nights i was making music and singing many hours five six hours during nights and it fulfilled me with some kind of human feeling that uh, I heard, I, I was hoping that gods and uh, people, I couldn't call all these people. So I was hoping that if there are any gods in Devi Devatas in Hal Korea, I sang to them, please release me from this demon, please release me from this demon. But I didn't use these words because I was aware of Bamjoon having his villa nearby me, it was like pff, 
maybe three minutes work from me, even less. Three minutes work from me was the settlement, so Bomjoon's villa was just behind me, really, just behind me. I didn't see it in the green, but I knew, I know the map of her Korea, so I knew it was uh, so near that I could hear things from that house. And so yes, I was uh, singing, then I invented this music thing, maybe halfway of the three months, sometimes in February. And uh, they must have heard me, because uh, during the nights in the jungle, people were sleeping and they were just a few meters from me. But I was not shouting, I was like discreet. Uh, but still, they were afraid to come to my place at night. This is a jungle with tigers, wild elephants. Wild elephants walk very silently, you cannot hear them. But uh, people used to be crushed by wild elephants in Nepal. And I know Bomjon uh, sent Darshan and uh, Dorje sometimes with a torch to my place at night to beat me and torture me. And um, they were scared. They never came uh, alone at night. They were scared and uh, uh, sometimes there was some tiger chased by the dogs, they told me. And I heard them coming because they were speaking to each other when they were coming to my place. Sometimes I heard uh, roars of tiger or some other animals as well. I heard elephants trumpeting. But uh, you know, in the jungle, animals are not harming people who have pure thoughts. Anim people are harming people. And I was convinced that nothing could happen to me. Okay, I was a little afraid, <laughs> but I was 90% convinced that hopefully nothing will happen to me. Sometimes I did feel that some animal was walking around my tent. But usually when I braved myself and look out, <laughs> there were some small animals, so they make also big noise sometimes. And some animals came inside my tent, birds came. Because I was dead. I was like dead. There was no human uh, life energy in me. So the animals came and sit on my head. And then I started to think. Uh, and I am like dead. And they want to kill me alive. They could have killed me like yeah, they have swords, they have guns. I heard the shooting exercises nearby. But the Bomb John's uh, purpose was to kill me alive, to make me a zombie. And I decided I am not giving up. So to practice my logical thinking, I was doing everyday mathematical functions in the sand. To practice my human emotions, that I'm still a human being, even if they, for, for no reason, they hate me, these, these bombjonists, and I didn't do anything wrong to anyone. I came to serve this group, this cult. I was a volunteer, and I don't know why they are doing to me this. So anyway, instead of getting mad of the disappointment and shock, where did I get? Uh, I started to make these songs. So I created, uh, composed a lot of mantras and songs. And because I am like a person connected to nature, so I was, I was communicating with the birds and peacocks and the monkeys. When I started to make this music, the monkeys came, they were my audience. So these were my, my 
nice moments on the chain when I was tortured by Bom Joon. Because I realized the basic human need is uh, beauty. Yes, we need food, we need sleep, we need uh, to be clean. Uh, but when we don't get it, we still want to be to stay human and we have a basic human need of love and beauty and i'm not giving up that my human that i belong to the human race i i found myself among demons darshan dorje Xiang bodong even the foreigners nearby they knew i am there and i was thinking they must have known that I disappeared and they must have sought, they must have asked where is Marici. So they must have given, received some answers, at least Andrea Good, and it was confirmed later on that she knew I am there and tortured. And Kim Guyen from California and Ivy Jugoa, they enjoyed the fact that Bomjon tortured me, which is absurd to me. This is these are people from my from my culture, from the Western culture. Anyway, what happened to... They have paralyzed conscience. That time on the chain, I, I realized Bomjon made their conscience paralyzed. They create... They, they remade them to be demons. He made some special magical operation with them in that dark jungle of Halkoria.